Arbordale Elementary. We're getting closer to our boat. Hey, babe. Yeah. Get a pen out quick. Oh, get that number. <laughs> we need that. We need to get a cheap boat. That's how we do it right there. We get a great deal, a fixer up. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Damn, that's crazy. See, that's my favorite move. Oh, yeah. So cute. Hey. He's gorgeous. Hey, he is. Hey there. Oh, he's so sweet. Eileen and I have had this dream of living aboard a sailboat for, I mean, years. It's been about a decade. And up until now, we've lived overseas. So we've never been able to actually go see any sailboats. We've never been off during the sailboat shows and literally we've just been watching youtube channels and reviews and this is one of the things that's been driving our passion for sailing wouldn't you agree yeah and so we're all youtubed up but we've never been on an actual catamaran we are captains <clears throat> of youtube this video is all about leopard catamaran and we're going to give you a little bit of history it's about the leopard 39 foot the 40 foot the 44 and the 48 and the reason why we're focusing on leopard catamarans is because of their design innovation their production facility allows efficiencies of scale they're just really good values and they build a quality very saleable blue water catamaran and what we mean about blue water is that we can take this over long ocean crossings um, that's what it's built for yeah and and we can afford them very simply yeah we well can afford built. used ones not used not new ones, ones. Yeah. we broke we've got to leave a little bit for the cruising kitty right well we're on the road up north to check out our first boat it's an exciting day for us isn't it honey yes it is this is a day that we've been looking forward to for years a long time it's hard to believe it's here i know and we're so glad that you guys have come along to join us for this. And it's going to be a real interesting day for sure. Got to keep it a little bit short since it's the first time that Brown's been driving in at least a year. Yeah. We are on the crazy I-95 Parkway. We made it to Harbor Town Marina. Look at the boats, babe. Finally. This is where we're meeting our broker to look at a boat on the hard. Oh yeah, on the hard, matey. Hey, how are you? Hey, it looks just like we do on the internet. Two suckers want me. Oh, hi. Good to meet you all and all. Nice to meet you. Yeah, like yeah. us. Yeah, getting a little taste of marine. Can you name just if you know what the, the boat manufacturer is and the size? Can you kind of just name it as you walk, just so we can get an idea of what we're looking at? Uh, sure. If, That's if a voyage yachts built in Cape. Ah. Because it says right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're so small. Wow, man. It's a Manta 38 right in front of us. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know it's so nice. <laughs> He's a broker and a jokester. That was our first time in the yard. Now, when oh, yeah. a hurricane hits, they're a lot safer on the hard, right? Yeah, generally so. Uh, they, you know, put these big straps down into points in the ground. Sure. Oh, so they stabilize it. Yeah. God. Yeah, let me show you what I know. That's a Leopard 44. Uh -huh. yes. straps on them, that secures it even further. Yeah. So this is a 2015 Leopard 44. Okay. Walk around, take a look. What do you What do you like about these? About like, the if you were gonna buy a Leopard, uh -huh. which one would you get? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> 58, of course. Ah. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm always kind of go simple, go small, go now. Mm. Um, right. You know, oh, I I'd like that. Get out and enjoy the boat. So, you know, something in that, that 40 to 44 foot range, I think, is great for, you know, sure. couples or small families. Yeah. Um, you get to start get bigger, you get more systems, you get more complications. Right. It's all more expensive to haul, more expensive to maintain. Okay, so here we go. Up and over and into our first boat ever. This is so exciting. <laughs> right. I mean, Should I carry um, you over the threshold? <laughs> if you want to walk again, no, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. Wow. This Leopard 44 is an owner's version, which means that it has a three cabin versus the four cabin charter layout 
with the owners occupying the entire starboard hull. A big advantage is a well-lit bathroom with a full standing shower, extra storage, as well as extra privacy. The aft's owner cabin features three ventilation ports, a whole lot of light, as well as a queen-size bed. It's time to learn more about the awesome front cockpit. Okay. That's the nature of anchoring. Okay. It faces into the breeze. Right. So this is an awesome place for hanging out. You're going to get the maximum breeze. Did you hear that, sweetie? Sun yep. cover, um, you know, for cocktails or whatever. Port side features two queen bed cabins, each with its own private shower. In addition, they are dry showers, not wet showers with a shower head peeing all over the head and such. The forward cockpit is really a relaxing place to sit and the front has an ample trampoline for a lay down. A hard bimini with skylight to watch the sails protects the helmsman where all the running rigging converges for single-handed handling of the boat. Oh my gosh, this is really happening. Yeah, I'm Man, I'm impressed by this. I can see why they charge as much as they do. These things are pretty substantial. Yeah, it's a it's a build. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Wow, this yeah. is gonna be our life. I can't even believe it. Got your you know uh, water tanks generator. Okay. Where do you put the spinnaker? Right here. Okay. Got lots of storage there. All right, babe. What do we just do? We just boarded a Leopard 44. Never been on one before. It was a uh, 2015. Yep. So it had a new uh, color scheme. And you, know, you just have no idea what these boats are gonna be like until you get on board, yeah. wouldn't you say? Yeah. What were the things you liked about it? And was there anything that you didn't like about it? Ah, I thought it was great. I thought the space was really good. I thought it was really well used. I liked that the bathrooms, the wet shower wasn't really that wet. Yeah, it was like a really good use of space. What about you? I was impressed by how nice the cockpit was. That's the part in the back that has the uh, hard bimini over it. It had a lot of room, like I could really enjoy eating up there yeah. and fishing back there. And then the Ford, really didn't understand that. This boat is an award winner back in 2011 when it came out. It won all the awards because it has a front cockpit. And the advantages of that are if you're at anchor, Chances are the wind is blowing at you, so this is going to be the most comfortable area where the most breeze is. You're not going to have it in the back. When you're parked at a marina, you have more privacy there because it's kind of like the backyard instead of the front yard. Yeah. On to the whimsical cat. There we go. The next Leopard 40. Let's get to it. All right, very exciting. Coming to look at the Leopard 40. Woo! Wow. She's pretty. Sorry about the delay. Wow. Wow. Man, this is so nice. This is beautiful. Good yeah. gracious. Yeah, remember how I was telling you guys how some people put uh, 12 volt coolers in yes. their pocket as extra stuff? That's what he's got here. Oh no my way. gosh. So, That's awesome. Yetis. That's so he actually cool. re he built this himself. It's an isotherm unit. The, the compressor's actually down in here. What made this cat so whimsical? was her custom solar panel stainless steel arch installation, totaling 2,450 watts combined with lithium batteries and a soft start inverter, which is powerful enough to run the air conditioning. The twin helm is wide enough for you and your sweetie and includes a hard bimini with sail window. What a stunning salon made for entertaining. Take it all in and notice how it's innovative forward facing design creates much well thought out room for a 40 footer and includes a nice sliding glass door with good access to the rear cockpit. This is beautiful. The porthole features two guest cabins, first the forward cabin and then the larger aft cabin with both sharing a well-designed bathroom with a full shower. The starboard owner's cabin features a lot of extra storage, as well as a full-size bathroom with a space in the shower for a washing machine. Oh, dude. Okay, Brown, this is amazing. Would you like it gift-wrapped? I'm in. Count me in. Man, I like these things. Oh, God. Can you, do you think you can live this life? So yeah, this is where you right. get the wind when you're at anchorage. So. This is amazing. So. 
Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of room. Yeah. So on the normally the generator the big... offer has the generator compartment okay. there. Okay. On that platform, but you still have some space in All front right, of so it. We just came from seeing uh, a 40 that ha that's on the market, and I have to say, it was stunning. Ooh, it was sexy. But it's really hard. We we are comparing it to two boats that were on the hard that were not ready to show, and that makes a big difference. It was ready to show. I mean, it was like an elegant, modern New York apartment. Very small. Yeah. But beautiful. Getting around it on the sides was really easy. The front part had beanbag chairs on it. That's where the wind's going to be when you're at anchor. Oh, this is my favorite part, the front. Where and it had that the big door and all the you know, the draft that you're going to get. Yeah. Like at anchor out in the middle of the beautiful azure water would just be paradise. It was amazing, I have to say. So, what were some negative things? Well, the storage is going to be a problem. Yep. Um, we have a lot of toys and are going to have a lot of water toys, and it's just not going to have the room to store all of our stuff. Plus, we're going to have a pantry. We're going to be we need food for extended stays, so we don't have to. We're going to load up where food's cheaper. And yeah, and we want to have guests, and if we have to take down a bedroom for <clears throat> storage, that just eliminates another bedroom, another opportunity of guests. So, yeah. I think that boat's perfect for somebody who's not living on their boat. Like, we're going to have to have everything that's comfortable for us to live. And that's, quite frankly, that's just going to take a little bit more space. And this one would be fine if it was, if we had a house and uh, we're just using this boat as a, you know, I don't know, it's still boat. top of my list right now. We'll have it's, to see. Yeah. It's really nice. But now well done, Leopard. Yeah, now we're going to see a 39. We're really lucky. It's not actually for sale, but it is uh, some a boat that we were looking at. So and If this one's good, we can get it for super cheap. Look at the Leopard 39. Oh, no, it's not that one. It's this one, but it's still really pretty. Babe, that's way out of our budget. Both of those, no. Listen, we worked in schools, okay? I don't think we can even afford a tender. I think that one probably has a helicopter pad on it to the left. Good boat right there, that 39. It's got the same profile as the 40. So, you put the 39 yeah. in with the 40, right? Just Well, yeah, I mean, the 39 is, I mean, the 40 is the next generation yeah. up from it. So I've seen them dock next to each other, and the differences are sure. readily apparent. Because with catamarans, they not grow only longer, they right. grow wider and taller. So the 40 has like, a, the Leopard 40 has like 20% more yeah, volume yeah. than the Bigger 39. Windows, yeah, it's a reversed inside the galley. Yeah, yeah. It's got the forward walkthrough, right. which is great for ventilation and everything. Right. Um, 39. It's remained very popular as a cruising okay. boat. Yeah, yeah. I know one came on the market briefly in Florida a couple weeks ago sure. and it was sold within, I think, before it even hit the market. Right. Um, and it was advertised for just a couple days. And right, then, right. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, but they remain a popular, uh, okay. you know, couples cruiser. I mean, the, the price point it seems to be right, you right. know, in that sub 300K range. Sure. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they, they just seem to get snatched up pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Leopard 39 is the perfect cat for two without a lot of stuff. As you can see, it has a great entry price point and words out that it's a great sailor with an aggressive sail plan for its size. The salon is small but perfectly laid out and each hole's two bedrooms share a decent sized bathroom, which is smart for its size not to go with four. Sorry for the shoddy camera work here. It has three hard solar panels and a well laid out twin helm. And there's also nice room to walk around down each side of the salon. Uh, between the 39 and the 40, what's the, which one do you like better? Oh, I like the 40 better. I like the walk out out front. <clears throat> I like the ability to put the bean bags up front. There's some great storage there. Yeah. Mm, I, this feels a little claustrophobic inside because it doesn't have the, the cross there. But I'm, the 40 has more living space, but I don't think it has a whole lot more storage. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, but this is certainly, I can see why this would be an award-winning boat and why it's been so successful. But yeah. I can also see why they did the design change. 
on the 40. Here's the new Leopard 45. Look how beautiful. Separately. Right. Yeah. Look at that thing, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pay no attention to that. <laughs> the Leopard 48 is a massive boat, and you just have no idea until you set foot on one. No wonder they're significantly more expensive than the 40s, the 44, and the 46s. The rear cockpit is huge, with enough room for 10 to dine, as well as all of your water toys. Now, let's enter into the salon, where there's plenty of room. No claustrophobia on this boat. Star Eyes has a four cabin charter layout and each room has a queen size bed, plenty of storage, and a large bathroom with full shower. Now for a real treat viewing Leopard's flagship 58 footer, which is being surveyed tomorrow for a potential new owner. Hopefully Eileen and I don't mess things up too badly. Thanks Bill for this real treat. What we aspire to like a bunch of different oh ones. my god oh stop oh, it how crazy is this, this wow 1.29 look at that this, this is bigger than my apartment in new york city I feel like this is dead to do on a boat this is crazy oh wow Interesting. Yeah, these are like full baths. Do the bathroom. Bunk bed. That's pretty cool. A lot of storage. Huge amount of storage. Bathroom. It's a full shower. That's really nice. Wow. Same with this one. Full shower. Great shelf space, windows. Wow. This is really pretty. Oh, this is owners. No, kinda, yeah. Wow, this is really nice. Full shower. Oh, that's a beautiful bathroom. Oh, washing machine. This is amazing. Oh, you're over there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Dang. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Step up. Man, this is really nice. Come look how big this is out here. 1.3 million, I guess it should be. <laughs> Dang, it's big downstairs. Wow. Oh, wow, look at this. Beautiful sitting, seating area. It's got the music going for us, it's got the tunes, oh, yeah. tunes going. It's got the police on. Oh, I want to go upstairs. Oh, come around this way. Oh my gosh. Flush hatches. So this is 1.3 million. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. A full kitchen up here. Maybe up top? Yeah. Wow. That's where it's at. Is this unbelievable or what? This is amazing. I don't know where this goes. Oh, up to the hull. Oh my gosh, up to the sail bag? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Oh, look at the sail. There's not a bag. It's like a carbon it's a fiber. Furler. It's wow. a boom furler? Boom furler. Jeez. $60,000 upgrade from the Shoot. It's absolutely a beautiful thing to have on this boat. Oh, oh, yeah, you kind of need it. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is insane. Honey, someday, here's my promise, I will be standing here on our boat. There you go. Mark my words, Bill. Got it.
Is he laughing at me? Yeah, giving a thumbs up. When we become YouTube sensations. Wow, look at the 45. Is that a new one? Yep. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. That's they... a perfect size right there. I mean, it's a serious yacht. 600 amp hours a piece, isn't it? 300 on those, yeah. Oh, 300, okay. Yeah, so that's 900. Oh, yeah, it says 300. Behind. That is huge. All right, babe, let's go through 39, the 40, the 44, and the 48. Give me your impressions of each one, how they stack up for us, and why. Well, I think that the 39 was too small. The yeah, I agree. So a 39 would be more for a couple cruising. Probably weekends. Weekends or maybe. not enough storage space. To the Bahamas. Yeah, you, it's got everything you need, but I can't see live, like making yeah. that my home. Yeah, it would be very, very small. It's like a tiny house thing. You'd have to be very minimalistic. Yeah. Okay. And bumping um, up to the 40, 40, which is a... Very now, there's the 40 that's like the 1990s 40, and now there's the new one, which I think started like in 2014 and is the new design. What do you think about that? I love, love the 40, yeah, but it's too small again, it just doesn't have enough room for all of our toys. I know the improvement is phenomenal over the 39, mm -hmm. but there's like 20% more space. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. So it's a little bit longer, but it's also wider, wider. and it's taller. Mm -hmm. and it just said, it was just beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Robertson and Kane has really been working in Leopard to uh, make these boats very desirable for people that are chartering them. These are, they're renting boats and beautiful parts of the world and some some of these rentals are like ten thousand dollars a week so they really have to have the latest and greatest in order to please their customer and get them to pay all that yeah. and this boat is a real example of how they deliver oh yeah with the design that was great that's great i can tell from the video <laughs> how much fun you're having at it i mean it's just incredible well, it? it was it was whimsical cat it was, Wins it was a beautiful boat i know it was like perfect yeah with a perfect price too yeah exactly. and then now bumping up to the 44 we really didn't um yeah we really didn't consider on paper the 44. we really didn't consider the 44 because we thought it had like a wet shower that yeah we just weren't thing. very impressed with the the design and the style and the size for the money but when we actually got on it, we were pleasantly surprised at the size and the design. And um, yeah, I, I think it really changed our mind and we weren't going to go see it because we really weren't considering it. And I'm so glad we actually did go up and see it. It was, it was on the hard, it wasn't even in the water, it was not ready for sale. It was torn apart by the owner who had put it in, in uh, on the hard dry dock. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't in, in the kind of shape you would want it to be in to take a look at it, but it really did impress us. So, yeah, like I, the 40, like the I 44. was incredibly impressed by it. I thought it was gonna be just elongated, like four feet to accommodate the front cockpit. And the front cockpit's wonderful because when you're at anchor and the breeze is coming straight at you, so that's a great place to get out of the sun and to enjoy those breezes and it flows all the way through the door through the salon and, and back to the back cockpit mm. but the boat is almost five feet wider than yeah. than the uh 40. it still feels a little small longer. yeah but it's livable and it would have the storage space that we would need for you know and it's just going to be you and me most of the time which I and all of my you best buddy and then we're gonna have friends on there and they're gonna bring us boat parts right uh and but it's definitely doable yeah 44 was really the first size that i thought we could we could live on and it had a real shower and yeah. it's private for each person and it was not a wet shower which that means just getting the whole bathroom wet commode and everything which is just a big mess yeah and then uh, we got on that big bad 48. That what was a was big it? mistake. Star Eyes? That was a big mistake oh, to go on go the 48. Go big or go home. The 48 is absolutely and then, beautiful. And then, just for tricks, Bill took us on the 58. 
right? Yeah, I actually don't like the 58. It's just, it's... I know. It's too much. It's too much. But yeah. the 48... The 48. ...was pretty amazing. And that would definitely be, if it was in our price range, would definitely be a, a winner for us. It was big. A lot of storage You're space. You're not really downscaling, especially from our Chinese apartment. I mean, that would be about the same size on the water. And it had the front cockpit and big bedrooms, big bathrooms. Yeah. And it just lacked. Great nothing. space. Massive space for solar up top. And the cockpit in the back was huge. You could put scuba, scuba tank tanks. holders, the whole bit. That thing was amazing. But, you know, it's a big boat and they're charging a lot more for it. Well, and, and the only ones we could afford were hurricane damaged, which we uh -huh. really have kind of changed our tune on that and have wanted yep. to stay away from hurricane damaged boats. So after seeing all that and hearing what we're saying, which boat do you think that we're gravitating toward right now of the Leopard fleet for our use? Uh, please comment down below. We'd love to hear your comments. Let's see if you're right. I think we've got pretty smart viewers. We do. Don't you have a... Uh, too smart. Too smart. We're going to see how smart. So make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to share with your friends. Subscribe. Subscribe, comment, hit the bell. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And you look beautiful, sweetie. Oh, thanks. In the sunset. Mm.